covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today on this Tuesday. The White County Sheriff's Department says a Riverview School District school bus got rear-ended by an SUV on Highway 367 between Judsonia and Searcy. It happened this morning. They say there was one minor injury on the school bus, and the driver of the SUV had to be freed from that vehicle. The person was flown to a hospital. Arkansas State Police are investigating the accident. A Decatur man is dead after a fire broke out inside his motorhome. The motorhome located on Rooster Street caught fire around 1040 this morning. When police and fire crews arrived, they say people were trying to put out the fire with extinguishers and water hoses from their own homes. No expense was still inside. I'm not sure what the cause was, but I do know the RV was not operational. Neither were the heating units on the RV. They were heating with space heaters. It is a possibility, but we don't know. Several agencies, including the Benton County Fire Marshal, continuing to investigate the cause of the fire. Spencer's body has been sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab for a toxicology report and autopsy. If you have a home surveillance system, police in Wake Village, Texas, want your help. The department wants folks with home surveillance systems to volunteer their footage to aid in police investigations. Authorities say if you sign up, they won't actually have access to your system, but they are gathering a list of where the cameras are located should a crime happen in your area. There's a crime in their neighborhood. We'll we'll call and say, hey, you know, Mr. Jones, there's you know some stuff that was going on in your neighborhood last night or whatever. We'd like to look at your camera, and then they can walk us through. All residents have to do to take part is provide their name, address, and phone number. Windstream, a company based in Little Rock, has filed for bankruptcy. The move comes after a judge ruled that Windstream defaulted on bonds four years ago. That means creditors can demand immediate payment on debts they hold, which appears to be more than $300 million. Windstream CEO says the company will keep paying its employees and serving its customers during the bankruptcy process. Help is on the way for DACA recipients who were denied the opportunity to get their nursing license in Arkansas. A new bill would allow these students whose parents brought them to the country illegally as children to sit in for their licensing exam. In 2017, we reported how DACA recipients across the state took all of their courses only to be turned away from the final test. The bill's sponsor says her proposal is gaining momentum with bipartisan support. There are always concerns about immigration at the federal level, but I think this is one of those instances where as a state we can really do the right thing and make decisions that affect our Kansans. I think this is one of those win-win situations where we're impacting communities and helping out our economy and meeting a need of a nursing shortage that exists in our state. The bill will run soon in the legislature's public health committee. President Donald Trump has arrived in South North Korea, rather for a second summit with North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. The president got a red carpet greeting from a Vietnamese delegation. The summit begins tomorrow where the president and North Vietnamese leader have a private dinner together. They will hold further talks on Thursday. President Trump has aimed to get Kim to give up nuclear weapons. This is their first historic summit. It took place actually last June in Singapore. And before he left for that summit, President Trump spoke to the nation's governors. Mark Meredith reports on how the president asked the governors to cooperate with the White House. In an address to the nation's governors, President Trump proclaimed the U.S. economy is surging. And we have uh, car companies opening up in Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania. The president urged the 36 governors in attendance to do more to help the administration move its agenda forward. On infrastructure, I would like you to call your senators and call your congressmen and women and get it done because I'm ready. I want to sign. I am totally ready. The president has called on Congress to pass an infrastructure bill this year. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson told us he expects the bill to be comprehensive. It's likely to include uh, funding for high-speed broadband in the rural areas of our state. It's likely to include a uh, broader range of projects than just highways. The president also told the governors the U.S. is close to reaching a new trade deal with China. Over the weekend, the White House announced it would not impose additional new tariffs on Chinese imports. Those tariffs were set to take effect this week. The the president also encouraged governors to support his recent emergency declaration on the border. I, I expect to have 250 to 300 miles of wall built in the very near future. Several border state Democratic governors, though, have spoken out against the wall, and 16 states have sued the administration, attempting to block the order. In Washington, I'm Mark Meredith.
Mark, thank you. President Trump's former lawyer faces lawmakers behind closed doors. Michael Cohen arrived on Capitol Hill this morning for the first of three congressional appearances this week. He's meeting with the Senate Intelligence Committee to testify about a range of issues, including Trump's alleged collusion with Russia during the 2016 election. And on Wednesday, Cohen will testify in public before the House Oversight Committee. Cohen is set to start serving his three-year sentence on May 6th after pleading guilty to tax crimes and lying to the committee back in 2017. Taking a look back at today in history, 1829, Levi Strauss, whose companies, of course, manufacture the first blue jeans, was born in Germany. In 1919, President Woodrow Wilson signed a congressional act establishing Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. That's a look at your